Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you along. I've got quite a few bits and bobs dotted everywhere. <laughs> it's like a bleeding bomb's gone off, cracker. But anyway, uh, I picked up a couple of new stencils, so I thought I'd show you, because I know you like to see the stenciling on the drawers. It's probably going to be a voiceover shortly because they're chopping all the hedge and everything next door, so it's rather loud. But it's all painted anyway, it's all just done in white and it's ready to go. So I've set up and we'll come back. Right, as you can see, I've got two different sized drawers. So I've got uh, three smaller ones and then two like this size at the top. Right, well this is the stencil that I'm going to use. I don't know how best to show you, probably not. Right, and as you can see, um, the full pattern on the left will fit on the larger drawers that's at the bottom, but it won't fit on the big one. Helps if I put the camera there, doesn't it? Yeah. So I think I'm going to use that one that I'm showing you there instead so it'll have the large one on the bottom two drawers and then it'll have um, the middle one I think I'm just showing there that I could do it like that but I'd chop the top off but I think I decide to go with that middle one and these stencils I've ordered I got three new ones and I got them from stencil stash which is on Etsy and they've got some really nice ones and you can pick the sizes these are all A4 so they're a really nice size they're very thick and they clean up nice as well so if you want to pop over let them know that I sent you as such Right, so I'm getting my glass beading out and these stupid tubs, well, they're in my head in. But anyway, a lot of you have asked if you can colour the glass beading and the texture mould and what have you. So I thought I'd do it today. And I've looked through uh, my colours and picked one out. But the only thing about obviously with colouring your product is that one you need to make sure you've got plenty and two have somewhere to put all the leftover. <laughs> so but this tub's about empty anyway so if I haven't got any left I'll pop it back into there. And as you can see I've decided to use the Artiste acrylic in the Mother of Pearl so i've just squidged some in and now i'm mixing it all together it actually mixes really well I hate doing voiceovers because when you're in the process, when you're doing it naturally, you're like chatting away about this, that and the other and I haven't a clue what I was saying because I turned the sound off so. <laughs> but cracker, the noise that was coming from next door is unreal. But anyway, we all have to chop as edges, don't we? I'm just using one of these. I don't know what they are. I got them in a pack of five, I think, all different sizes. I don't know if they're like little filler plates or what, I don't know. But the only thing obviously with tinting your beading is you've got to be careful. Very careful. 
because you don't want spill out because if you do then obviously you're going to see it where if it's clear you don't really but that one turns out lovely showing you in detail what it looks like obviously I can't do the other side because I'll have to wash it first and then to flip it over and this is definitely something that you don't want to be washing down your sinks I wash mine with the hose pipe on the garden oh look at me showing off with me two new Ryobi tools sat there <laughs> No, that wasn't planned. Uh, they were just there. <laughs> but, oh, they are good. I do like them. But anyway, back to the job in hand. Make sure you're careful when you put it down as well, because if any seat under, it'll mark your drawers. I think this is why, you know, because I'm so lazy and scruffy, I think this is why I don't bother tinting because you have to be so much more careful and delicate and delicate isn't really in my nature I think they skipped that one when they made me There's some lovely new two new tools again. Right, so I've swapped over to it's it was two large drawers that I've just done, and then obviously it's the oh yeah that that's my tripod for you again. Look, that's a nice angle, isn't it? Hey, oh I did notice this time it had gone. Oh, what a load of rubbish. You're all going to have to start watching more videos so I can buy something that's half decent that actually works, you know. The camera seems to spend more time upside down than it does straight. But I can't actually show you now, I don't think. But what I'm doing is, is scraping off all the excess off of it before going to rinse it outside. Because there was a lot of product on there. And all you have to do is just pop it back into the tub and reuse it. But like I say, not for dying your drains. Oh, am I trying to do that without cleaning it really? Yeah, you can see it all look on the left hand side. Do I even notice that it's like marked at all? Who knows with me? Ah, uh, this instead of me pausing you, yeah, I've obviously just left you. So sorry about that. I've gone outside to clean my stencil. And all I'm doing is just try and get it centre. So I'm measuring from one end to the first draw knob part. And then I shall pop it in between to get it as level as I can. And then away we go again.
and like I say that's the middle one off the stencil but if you pop over to stencil stash at Etsy you'll find you'll find loads like I say and you can pick the sizes these came as standard on standard A4 uh, and then I picked an A4 one for a different one I think I'll show you a bit later on but they, but they are nice quality I do find though that um, when something's got a lot of uh, detail like this I think you're better off with the texture paste and not the glass because it's very hard to get it without it smushing if you know what I mean because obviously the beads are round and you only need one bead to have slipped underneath and it really does make a mess It's like here look oh dear and that's made a right mess so obviously with the glass beading on such a fine detail I'd do two maximum and then go and wash a stencil so I'm just scraping it all off back into the pot and we'll clean that off it cleans off lovely if you if you get it while it's wet not quite so lovely if you catch it once it's dried But yeah, I obviously didn't bother pausing you again. I just went off on my little way. But I'm outside cleaning my stencil again. And like I say, if you, if you do use it with a, more of a delicate stencil, I'd do two and then rinse it. Two and then rinse it maximum. You, you keep your lovely clear image then. I'm just wiping it off after washing it. Yeah, that one was so much better. As I'm going along, I'm looking more at this colour 
and I don't think I like it. The only thing that might save it is the fact that um, I've got draw pulls for it that are like a brass. That I'm not liking the colour at present. Yeah, I've just been and rinsed it off yet again. I'm glad I noticed that at that point because I don't know if that flower is different upside down <laughs> or back to front, should we say. Makes a change for me to notice beforehand. How's everyone doing? I hope we're all okay. Our infection figures are going quite high again at present. We've got a few like holiday places close by to us, so obviously with people being coming away and what have you, they've sent our little area skyrocketing. But hopefully it'll settle down now. The kids have gone back to school. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. I've heard quite a lot of ladies that I follow um, complaining that obviously the channels are just dying. And it's really sad. I mean, what what's happening, do we think? I mean, I know as we're as we like progress with whatever it is we're watching we move on from like the beginner stages which is like mine i suppose to more experienced people so i suppose you, you slowly stop watching but there's a lot of people that saying i mean mine's never really took off either way so i've just stayed steady but i mean there's people with like you know 180 odd and 150 odd thousand subscribers and, and they're distraught because obviously they've took it on and it's been their business and when people stop watching you stop getting paid so then you know you don't have much choice but to go and do something else but yeah that's really sad a few ladies like I say I've watched I mean, like I say, mine's never really taken off, so it doesn't. <laughs> it's no difference to me. I get very little out of it anyway. But it must hit you hard when, obviously, you know, you've got a fair amount of money coming in through the good times, and then all of a sudden it starts dropping. We all come to depend on money, don't we? Even though we shouldn't, we all do. So yeah, I don't know if what's if they're moving on to something new. I don't know. People keep going on about TikTok and what have you, but I, I'm not into it. I don't like it. But that's just me. So whether that's like the new YouTube, I don't know. I don't watch it, so I suppose I don't really know enough about it to comment. But I'm just um, finishing off those two big drawers. I took it out again and washed the stencil. And I'm just obviously flip the stencil over to do the other side. You're very noisy, Eleanor, aren't you? Hey? Do you 
probably have to sit right at the side of me, you know, pretending that you've not had a drink in three months and your mouth is like hanging off. I'm sure they can hear you. I'm sure they can, yes. Just because they can't see you, they'll be able to hear you, I'm sure. Mm. Right, but that's all those done. I think I'm going to put them in the cupboard and show you. But I've got that much stuff in here, you can't like get to <laughs> get to look properly. But that's the stencils anyway. And that's them back in the floor. Now I like the stencils, don't get me wrong, I really don't like the colour. And I've got all that lot left of it. <laughs> but I'm going to let it dry. You know, I'm not going to dive in. I shall clean my stencils and everything up and pop them back in the tub. And I shall save it. But yes, I've now put the handles on. And it's not, a, I hate it. But it's made it look very old fashioned, I believe. It's like the old trim that you'd get on the really old fashioned furniture. Where I know obviously some of the stencils, they are quite oldy fashioned in a way. But I don't like it. And I couldn't get your footage because it sold quite quickly. But after filming, I did paint over all the mother of pearl white and listed it and it sold straight away with those handles on but yeah I mean you could still see all the detailing but no that mother of pearl I did not like but that's the stencil that I've used today I'm sure it says something it's a peony I think peony stencil and this is another one for doing like the draw the one in the middle you know for like the draw sides and that's quite a nice one but it's quite large as well so that come as a standard A4 and then this one is like another peony one and you'd use that for your draw fronts and you could have that up to really big but again I just got the A4 and I shall shuffle it along as I use it as such but as you can see they're really thick they're very nicely detailed and they'll last for quite some time they're not flimsy at all so you need to check them out if you after a few more stencils like I say I mean I get I don't buy I've not bought any stencils from like Prima or whatever I have a look on eBay I have a look on Etsy um, I've picked up a couple from like, um, is it AliExpress over the years? So just look at all like your your cheaper ones if you can't afford the the expensive ones. And there's thousands, thousands and thousands of them. It's bound to suit everybody's needs. But anyway, I'm done. We now know it's all painted white. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you again in the next one. Okay guys, take care. See you soon. Bye.